hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing an updated makeup routine the last makeup video that i think i posted on this channel or just the last video in general is like back in 2020 it's been like three years if you follow me on my tiktok you know my step-by-step -step makeup routine it's like pretty much very simple first i'm gonna start off with the primer i got sent this primer from makeup forever it's a hydra booster step one primer i have been using this primer a lot recently my makeup has to be snatched today i have four videos i need to film today for my other primer i like to go in with the elf power grip primer i don't know like i've always layered my primers I don't know why. I just feel like it helps the makeup stay a little bit longer. Now that we are all primed, I like to let the primer set into my face for a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to go in with the Kosas Airbrow. This is the clear one. I think in the last YouTube video that I posted, I think I was still filling in my eyebrows. I've always had these thick eyebrows that are pretty dark on their own. Like sometimes it can be a little sparse. So I will take a pencil and just fill in the sparse areas. At a young age, I started getting them waxed mainly because I saw my mom and my sister getting theirs waxed. And I was like, oh, well, I want to do that. From then, I got this like addiction to getting my eyebrows waxed. And I would go in every week and I'd be like, okay, thinner. Oh, uh, they're too thick. Let's do thinner. At one point, I had the most 2090s eyebrows i started growing them out and doing my own eyebrows i want to say back in 2016 okay let's go into face i was never a huge foundation girl until i used this foundation this is the makeup by mario foundation i'm in the shade 140 everyone knows the monet swirl i started doing that she likes to put the foundation on her hand and swirl it from there but i'm more of a i need to place it to know like how much product i want on my skin and i kid you not like it just disperses this product so perfectly since my eyebrows are done i don't do the brush too much on my forehead i'll go in with my beauty blender and just blend the rest of it out so now let's go into the concealer armani beauty has sent this to me i have tried other concealers in between but i keep going back to this one it's in the shade 6.5 i just like to apply that under my eyes do like a little wing out underneath my nose i get really red here on my chin a little bit down the bridge of my nose here for underneath my contour i'm gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury setting spray and then I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and start blending everything out. I'm so sorry about the angle of this camera. I don't have a tripod for this camera. You guys are on top of my little makeup container. Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I like to put it a little bit higher up. So like there is like the contour where my cheekbone is. I'm gonna put this a little bit higher to give my face a little bit more of a lift. Right here. I'm just gonna do one because you should have seen the amount of product that came out of that. I'm gonna do right up here, dot on my nose, a dot on my chin, two dots on each side of my forehead. Now to blend it out, I like to take the butt of my beauty blender. I just start blending it, bringing the product out a little bit like that, but still focusing it in this area. See how quick and easy that was. I'm gonna do the same with the forehead. And then the one on my nose, I just like blend it up. Now we're gonna go in with cream blush. I've been loving this elf putty blush. It's in the shade Caribbean. It honestly is like a dupe for my alley-oop cocktail hour. Stack the odds. They're pretty similar, especially when you put them on the face. I am gonna go ahead and go in with the blush and I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. Like here's where my contour is a little bit up higher and I'm going to blend the rest of that out with the Beauty Blender. And I am gonna put a little bit on my nose, on my chin and blend it into my forehead. That does look slightly harsh. 
So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and then just make sure everything is very seamless. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the concealer right there. I'm gonna let that sit for a while while I move on to something else. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker brow gel. The Kosas Air Brow again, but this one is the brown black shade. Just adds a little bit more color. Now I'm gonna go in and blend out that concealer. Now is one of my favorite parts, setting that concealer. So I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Blender sponge and my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. If you can't tell, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna go in and make sure all of that concealer is blended and we don't have any creases. And actually, real quick, I'm gonna spray my face. Now I'm gonna go in with my little powder puff and some of this pressed powder and I'm going to press this into my under eye around my nose and bring that outwards. I just love this pressed powder so much because I feel like it truly blurs your face. I like to go in with a second powder. It is the Ultra HD setting powder in vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and press some of that powder onto the back of my hand. I'm going to to just start blending that. I love my makeup by Mario Bronzer. Obviously, it's so good. Gently, very gently, just dab it onto where I already have cream contour. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go back in with that pressed powder and I'm gonna go in with my little Dior blush in pink. I start to buff that in. And then what's ever left on that brush, I like to just clean up. And then I like to take some of the powder, blending it out on my chin, blending it on my nose just a little bit, and then also into my forehead. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I am someone who likes to layer their setting spray. So now I'm going to go in with the one size setting spray. This stuff is no joke. Here I go. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more blush with this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the shade Berry Adore. I've been leaning more towards this really deep berry color and I just like to gently add that to my blush. Okay, the makeup is looking great. I am gonna take a little bit more of that setting powder and just set my eyelids. I just started using highlighter for the first time in years. This one is Charlotte Tilbury Champagne Glow. I just do a little bit, you guys. Going in with my favorite mascara right now. This one is from Rare Beauty. I have a lot of mascara on my eyelids. I'm just going to go in with a cotton swab and clean that up. First, starting off with my all-time favorite lip liner. This is NYX Nude Truffle. I like to start under here. Also, ignore my hand. My hand has like cuts all over it. My eczema's been real bad, so please ignore it. The only part that I really overline is my Cupid's bow. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. This has been my go-to lipstick. And I just apply that in the center. I got three new lip products. I bought them from Sephora. So I have two Omni Cole and I have a Tower 28 lip gloss. Pistachio could be cute, but hmm, I cannot decide. I'm gonna do this one. It's in the shade Bliss by Amicole. Maybe this one. Oh my god. This lip gloss is insane. This is the final look, you guys. We're done. I think this came out so good. Like, this is just like my daily makeup routine. I'm gonna really try my hardest to keep up with the YouTube videos and the TikTok videos because I have not been posting as much as I usually post. I was just in this funk for such a long time. But now I'm feeling a lot more comfortable and I'm feeling a little bit more inspired. I'm just... So grateful. I'm gonna really try and keep this up because I think that this was such a fun little thing to do. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a great day.